What is going on guys? So a couple days later, I have not posted on Loud and Proud in so freaking long. I hope you guys can understand. Yes, we're shipping orders like crazy. They did about 500 packages yesterday alone. So when people make comments about how, oh, I'm not getting my stuff, I'm not getting my stuff. I want you to understand, and this isn't making jabs at anybody, but we are working our hardest. We literally hired three new people in the last week to help with packaging orders and getting them shipped out. So I hope you guys can understand that we're trying to expand as fast as the company. Put this in a perspective. There's a lot of businesses in the United States, right? We are ranked in the top 1% for high volume sales. We deal with a lot of shipments, okay? And it's kind of hard to grow the employee lineup as fast as the business sometimes. And that's what we're trying to do. So hopefully you guys can understand we are shipping like crazy and hopefully that slack is gonna be getting picked up really quick. Now, fun little uh, thing we got going on here today. So. We took the first gen to do a little bit of work today. When I say work, as in like pull two little zero turns on the trailer, just to our new property, which explains why you haven't seen me on LNP for about a week. I've been on our new property, Reagan and I just purchased. Slinging arrows, I shot two deer on the first morning hunt over there, and now I'm just buck hunting like that fast, within 20 minutes of each other. Two deer were down, we saw about 30 that morning that we went out, me and my brother. Subscribe to the hunting channel if you wanna see those vlogs, because we are gonna be posting those, link in the description. But I'm gonna be taking a two week break from deer hunting here locally, probably, unless we get like a perfect day, a perfect condition. Otherwise, pretty much done hunting until the bucks really start cruising. You might not see me for a week or two again, so we'll see. Quick little thing. So, this truck we're actually giving it away. And uh, giveaway is live, started two or three days ago. So that's why I'm making this video right now, is to try to update you guys. We are giving this away, this giveaway is over. We should have a winner within the next week to two weeks, at the most probably seven to 10 days more realistically, we should have a winner for this truck. Ben from Arizona just got his OBS Ford, not this truck, but the OBS Ford that we gave away. I'll put a picture in right here of him with his new truck. He loves it, he's having a great time, got his truck, living the dream. And you could be just as lucky as Ben by getting some entries in towards winning this 2004 5.9 Cummins. That's just a freaking machine. The only problem with it, it's dead. When I say it's dead, I mean the battery's dead. Like, very, very dead. So, I don't know why or what happened, but I've got the keys for the first gen in case we have to jump it. And then I've got the keys to this thing right here. And as you can see, Nothing, it is toast. So we are going to pop the hood and see if we can't solve this issue. So we're also gonna pop the hood of the first gen, get this thing running. I know, I already see the comments. Don't use my potential truck to jumpstart your other one. Shut up. For the people that think it's necessary to complain about me driving a truck that I'm giving you for free, pretty ridiculous. And honestly, I would hope you don't win a truck from us. Let's see if we can get a jumper cable ran from there to there. Got our friend here, the jumper cable. I'm guessing the batteries are older in the truck. I don't know that for sure, but I'm guessing they're just older batteries and they're gonna need the place. It was acting a little bit hard to start for the last two or three days. Having to crank a little harder and then the batteries were just cooked. I mean, everything was dead this morning. I came out with my key fob, truck wouldn't even unlock. Will she start? Not quite. Almost had it. It's been another 10 minutes. Will it start? We will find out. Yeah! So the truck did start up. Either the battery's dead or the alternator was starting to go bad to where it wasn't recharging the batteries, but the batteries look pretty dusty and pretty old, so I'm guessing it's the batteries. But I thought I would do a blow-by test for you guys, just so you guys could see, because I know that everybody knows Cody's reputation with his truck, so they think that, oh, if it was owned by him, it's trashed. Not necessarily true. This truck runs like a top. I haven't had a single complaint with it. It runs amazing. And this thing, same as well. So we found out what the problem was. It was the air conditioning that killed the truck. Now before you say you're an idiot, that's not even possible, think about this. I didn't tell you guys this, but when I picked up the truck, Cody told me that the air conditioning at some point had an issue and basically his dad wired it to where he had to override something to where 
the air conditioning would then work. He put some kind of inline something or another and some, I don't know how they did it, but in some form, the air conditioning will work regardless of whether the truck is on or not. Now, that does not mean the AC will be cold, but the fan will be blowing whether the truck is on or off. So like, even if the truck's off, let's put it on, let's put it on four. Let's turn the truck off. Open the door. Take the key out. Let's even take the key out. And guess what? AC is still blowing full speed. Because unless you turn it all the way off, the way that they had to wire this up to work, unless you turn this all the way off, the air conditioning does not turn off with the truck. So basically, I just need to remember from now on to make sure I turn the air conditioning off. That's what killed the truck. He told me, remember, turn your air conditioning off when you're done driving or you are going to kill the truck because the fan will just continually run the way that we had to wire it up so that it would work. Um, it kept blowing some kind of fuse or something, he said, so that they just wired it some, some direct something or another to where um, they wouldn't have any more issues with the AC fan system. Well, I left it on because when I got in the truck, after starting it, I'm like, why was it dead? And I'm like looking at the AC and it was on setting two. And yeah, it must have just been running until it basically killed the truck. Well, hopefully we don't have that issue when we come out here tomorrow morning, but uh, at least we know what the problem was. Anyways, aside from that issue that we at least have figured out now, if you want to add her to win this truck right now until October 14th, every $1, 20 entries to win. And then the 20X entry deal, which is our best deal, will be over. And by the way, you win this truck plus $5,000 cash and the giveaway ends in four weeks on November 11th. Please drop some video ideas down in the comment section below. We've got another truck we're picking up soon. I think you guys are really gonna like it. We've got some stuff we're gonna be doing to the blue truck. We've got some stuff we're gonna be doing to the third gen. Just a lot of stuff that we're trying to get to, but stuff's just taking a while to come in. Hopefully you guys can understand that. Um, anyways, hopefully you enjoy the video. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.